Yeah, good afternoon. You are welcome to another edition of our online class. And today I want to show how, how you can test run your fence. So that's the fence around the this is the energizer. You want to detect maybe they say there's an alarm or stuff like that to the fence. You need to first all you need to first do for this energizer, if you have, if I'm using this as an example, either is a name tech, irrespective of the kind of energizer, for this, all I need to do first to detect if the fault is from here or from the fence. I'll disconnect the terminal for the true life, this, this, and this, this cable. I'll disconnect and I'll jump, I'll jump it using a jumper, a cable, just a short cable to link them. Imagine I put my link here. And I put on this energizer. Though this energizer is fine, it's healthy. You can see the arm is on. Okay. Now, if it is healthy, you won't hear the alarm. The alarm will not go off. But if the alarm, if it's faulty, by the time I jump this, put one here, put one here. Remove. I will remove this one from the fence entirely. Just be left with only those two, the two jumper, a small jumper cable. Maybe I put it on, and the thing comes off. It means this energizer is fine. The only the other thing I need to check for is the wiring of the fence. I may need to go around. Maybe my fence is healthy. The other part they, they are healthy. I notice. Okay, fine. My loop pin. I saw the first time when I did the job. I did a very good loop pin. And I want to test this. All I need to do is to get this, the cable supplying my life, which is these two. I'll t I'll disconnect this. As I disconnect this one. Sorry. Connect this. Okay. Just a moment. Just a moment. Okay. Now, if I want to test it, these two, the two life, I take this life off. If for example, I'm having a fence scope. I don't need to come here. Because with a fence scope, if I go to the fence, I'm able to determine, I'll connect here, put this on, I'm able to determine the direction of flow of current. So the area that is even out, by the time I put my scope, it will tell me the direction that the wire is maybe broken or something. So what I need to do here is to come here. I'll use my avometer. Since I don't have a fence scope, I'll put my avometer. Or like this avometer, this one has uh, is on is on auto. This avometer has auto, where irrespective of the kind of uh, whatever I want to test, automatically it detects it and switch. If it's continuity, it beats continuity. If it's, uh, it's reading, maybe it detects any voltage. It start reading voltage either AC or DC. This is auto. But if it's the ones that you need to select, you just need to select continuity on your meter. All you need to do come here. You go one of the cable. Let me place my meter here first. Since I'm detecting continuity, you hear that beep. I put one of my line here, one of my cable here, and the other probe here. Yes, there's continuity here. When you do this, you should also check if there must not be continuity between your life and your earth. So if I put here, I shouldn't read anything with this. It shouldn't make that a uh, buzz sound. Then I also try the second with this. It mustn't buzz, so it means fine because this this energizer is healthy. That's why we don't have in those buzz. If if the lines were broken somewhere on the fence, by the time I put this and this, the two life, I won't hear that sound. That helps you to detect. Okay, maybe it's broken somewhere. And if you're putting your probe on your life and your your f and you're hearing that sound you know on the fence there's a short circuit to your cable whether your life and your earth is touching somewhere then you can need to go around the bobbins check the bobbins to see maybe your your live cables maybe they are off the bobbins and they're on the line or maybe closing touching the pole because the poles are headed also that can also bring such a such errors so these are the things you need to check out for when uh when checking testing your your fence or your energy to determine where your fault is actually coming from and like this energizer you see now we have uh, we have this device on it this device uh, is a g ultra we can use this to from a remote location even if i'm not here 
I can control this fence. I can check even status of this fence with this uh, device. It's a Centurion G Ultra. So very effective with this. With this short video, I guess you can now understand that you're able to test your your energizer or your fence using a fence using um, an avometer or a multimeter to detect the cables coming from your from the fence. To meet again in our next class, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, share with friends, share with others. Until we meet again in our next class, do have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.